Etymology and historical origin of the baby name Julia. Julia is the Latin female form of an old Roman family named Julius, from the gens Julia. Most etymologists believe the name is derived from the Latin asterisk Iavilios meaning pertaining to or descended from Jove, Jove being another name for the Roman god Jupiter who was the patron deity of ancient Rome ruling over laws and social order. Other etymologists have surmised that Julius was borrowed from the Greek Iulos, meaning downy bearded or soft haired. From this perspective, Julia is often associated with the quality of youthfulness due to the young age at which a man grows the first soft hairs on his chin, juvenilis is Latin for youthful. The Julius family of ancient Rome was among the most prominent among the patrician class and claimed direct descent from the mythological Julius, son of Aeneas and ancestor to Romulus and Remus, the legendary founders of Rome in the 8th century BC. The most notable name-bearer was Gaius Julius Caesar, a Roman general and statesman during the 1st century BC. Made famous for his conquest of Gaul, after which he uttered the words, Veni, Vidi, Vici, I came, I saw, I conquered. The male names Julius and later Julian, or the female Julia, were rare by the Middle Ages, but then experienced a revival in Italy and France during the Renaissance cultural period between the 14th and 17th centuries. Many female versions have spun from this illustrious ancient Roman name, Julia, Latinate, Spanish, Julie, French, Juliana, Italian, and many elaborations Juliet, Juliet, Julianne, etc. Furthermore, the name Julia shows up in the New Testament briefly, Romans 16 verse 15, as a person greeted by Paul, and it was a name borne by several medieval saints. Today, Julia is basking in the sun, the name is popular all over the Western world. It's a top 10 choice in Poland, Sweden, the Netherlands, Catalonia, Austria and Spain. Julia is also a favorite name in Norway, Ireland, Scotland, Canada, America and England. Even Hungarians rank Julia quite high. Personality of the girl named Julia. The number 8 personality has everything to do with power, wealth and abundance. Somehow, this personality has been blessed on the material plane, but their authoritative and problem-solving traits provide evidence that their good fortunes are not just the luck of the lottery. They are well-earned. This is the personality of CEOs and high-ranking military personnel. Eights are intensely active, hard-driving individuals. Success is only meaningful to them after a job well done. They are remarkable in their ability to see the larger picture right down to the smallest details and organize a strategy around success. They then have the ability to direct a group around them toward any goal and realize individual potential to get the most out of their team. Popularity of the girl named Julia In the United States, the name Julia has long been a crowd pleaser. There's barely a time when Julia was not in heavy usage, other than between the 1950s and 1970s when the French form of Julie stole its thunder for a while. It's interesting to see that the name's peak success happened right at the turn of the last two centuries. The name is clearly back in serious vogue, and actually reached the peak of its success at position number 27 on the charts in 2001. It slipped a little since then, but appears to be kicking around for good if history is any measure. The name is short to spell, but has a long and lovely three-syllable sound. It's simple, classical, and simply exquisite. Quick facts on Julia. Gender, girl. Origin, Latin. Number of syllables, three. Ranking popularity, 75. Pronunciation, Julia. Simple meaning, descended from Jove, soft-haired and youthful. Characteristics of Julia. Tenacious, wealthy, achiever, tough, authoritative, powerful, problem solver. Cultural references to the baby name, Julia. Literary characters of the baby name Julia. Julia Bertram is one of four cousins of Fanny Price, the protagonist of Jane Austen's Mansfield Park, published in 1814. While Fanny is gentle and virtuous, Julia, along with her sister, Maria, is vapid and self-serving. Three of the four cousins treat their impoverished cousin as their social inferior, while the fourth, Edmund, is kind to her. Needless to say, in the vernacular of the 19th century, virtue is its own reward, but it pays off for Fanny. Julia's fate is not as scandalous as that her sister, who marries one yet runs away with another, Julia Hurstwatt figures in Theodore Dreiser's famous 1900 novel, Sister Carrie. 
She is the wronged wife of the second married man with whom Carrie takes up. The first, the real, misses. Hustwood, a savvy and cool social climber, is not one to take such things lying down. He leaves her and his children, but the financial consequences of doing so drive him to embezzlement and eventual ruin. Julia, as a character, is never given a last name in George Orwell's famous novel 1984, indeed, the protagonist himself goes by the most common of surnames, Smith. Published in 1949 after World War II, it uses a science fiction genre to tell of an ominous future in which a repressed society lives in a bleak and thought-controlled post-global catastrophic future. Julia and Winston Smith fall in love, conduct an affair surreptitiously, and try to plan for a future of freedom. The thought police are on to them, however, and they are not only betrayed by a supposed friend, they ultimately end up betraying each other and falling victim to the real aims of the ruling party, having glimpsed only momentarily what they had been missing all along, two gentlemen of Verona, Lady Julia Flight is the elder daughter of Lord and Lady Marchmain in Evelyn Waugh's 1945 classic, Brideshead Revisited. Beautiful, modern and restless, yet pulled in the opposite direction by the strong Catholic allegiances of her family, she is beloved by Charles Ryder, the narrator, perhaps in large part because she so resembles his friend, her brother, Sebastian. Although she marries another, she divorces him and strongly considers marrying Charles. Ultimately, however, she gives in to the spiritual demands of her church and decides to live alone and chaste Julia is the sometimes love of Proteus, one of the two gentlemen of Verona, written by William Shakespeare around 1590-1591. Proteus and his friend, Valentine, travel to Milan to broaden their horizons. Proteus at first goes reluctantly, despairing of leaving Julia, then shortly becomes enamored of Sylvia, Valentine's newly found love. Julia follows them, and seeing her man in these circumstances, disguises herself as a lad, and becomes Proteus' page, Sebastian. After much wandering in the Shakespearean forests of mixed identities, lovers' betrayals, bands of marauders, and willful children, the initial lovers are finally reunited, though modern-day feminists might just have a little trouble with Julia's acquiescence with the deal. Popular Songs on Julia a song by Conway Twitty, a song by the Indelicates, Julia, a song by Wet Wet Wet, Julia, We Don't Live in the 60s, a song by Pink Floyd, a song by Robert Palmer, Hey Julia, Julia Dream, Julia Says. Famous people named Julia. Julia Minnie, actress, Julia Ormond, actress, Julia Dean, actress, 